Hi, Brother Teacher here. I wanted to respond to a comment that was made on a video that I did a day ago about Quentin Tarantino's uh, film, approximately a year old, uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, where there was a scene therein that Bruce Lee was characterized, if you will. And there was a Chinese actor that played Bruce Lee in one of the scenes in the film. And I made the statement that uh, that was not a good depiction of the late great Bruce Lee. And uh, it wasn't well received by one or two people only, right now anyway, one or two. And one person made the statement that how can I make the statement that Bruce Lee was not arrogant when I never knew Bruce Lee personally, when I have never met Bruce Lee personally? Now, that was an interesting response to me. Uh, I didn't know you had to know someone personally to know something about their person in every regard. I let that marinate with some of you and maybe even this individual and I don't need to personify who it is it doesn't matter if you care to go back in my uh, feed and look at the responses you can find out who it was it doesn't matter it's not a here nor there but my point is it's intuitive I believe that human beings have the wherewithal to make sound judgments based on living life and as I said it's intuitive some things you don't have to know up close and personal to be able to give a proper description of that thing and let me throw this at this individual and at maybe some other ones who are naysayers or who don't believe that Bruce Lee was who he was one thing about Bruce Lee, first of all, is that as large as his fan base and following has been over the past many decades, you've never heard anyone mention Bruce Lee as being an arrogant and obnoxious individual. Not only in the large scale, it's always this little uh, minuscule amount of individuals sitting over in the corner in shadow somewhere that makes these statements after the man is dead. That's one thing. Another thing is this. I'm not the only individual that made a comment about Tarantino's depiction of Bruce Lee. Since I don't know Bruce Lee and have never known Bruce Lee. I know we have our favorites. You know, if you're a student of Bruce Lee or family member of Bruce Lee, you more than likely wouldn't say anything negative about your father or your teacher, as it were. Well, Shannon Lee, Bruce Lee's daughter, made that statement about her father as well that he was depicted in the wrong light and that was not her father the way the guy portrayed Bruce Lee on that particular uh, film project she said that now is she just simply defending her father because it's her father and because he is a staple household world excuse me word in the martial arts is that the reason she's defending that position or is she lying? Or was Bruce Lee actually arrogant and obnoxious and she's just protecting his honor or his position in the martial arts world? I don't think so. I think she was straightforward, called it what it was. It was an inaccurate depiction of her father. And I say the same thing and I'm going to stand on the same thing, the same concept and or principle that Bruce Lee was not portrayed properly in that film he was not that type of individual and there were too many actors Kareem Abdul-Jabbar who was an NBA basketball star spoke very highly of Bruce Lee and he always uh, discounted those types of statements about his instructor is he lying James Coburn God bless his soul he also defended Bruce Lee's person as it were when he was living Love the man to death. Was he lying? 
James Coburn was the manifold amount of individuals that got to know him throughout his career to include the late June Reed who spoke very highly of Bruce Lee and never said anything negative about him and his personality as it related to him being arrogant or uh, narcissistic which he wasn't June Reed, father of Taekwondo one of the fathers of Taekwondo was he lying about Bruce Lee? There were a lot of people who knew that Bruce Lee was worth his weight in gold. Now, again to those who make those statements that I never knew Bruce Lee so I can't really say with any credibility that uh, Bruce Lee wasn't arrogant. Well, how could I speak with authority in other words on this subject? Well, since you never met Donald Trump how do you know about his life and you're going to cast a vote for him? Since you've never met and you don't know Joe Biden personally or Kamala Harris, how can you vouch for them and you're going to vote for them? Do you see how ignorant your statement is? Why are you voting for a presidential candidate who you know nothing about other than what they say in a debate? and what you see on the commercial advertisement. You don't know them, do you? See how silly that is? You don't know God. You was not here. We were not here when God or the Creator, Divine Providence, the Most High, the Almighty created the world. But we believe that He exists. See how ignorant you sound now? Now if you don't subscribe to what I just said about the Creator, then your whole life is in vain because what you're really saying is that you're living for nothing and when you die there's nothing after that right but you've never met God you've never met Jesus Yeshua you've never met Muhammad so what grounds do you stand on to say that uh, I have a faith in a supreme being that you have never met so true I've never met Bruce Lee I've studied him throughout my childhood up until this present time and the intellect that the Creator has given me as a human being being the most intelligent being on the planet all human beings that has given me the authority that has given me the unction to make the statement that Bruce Lee was not arrogant the way people some people depict him I think that's enough and I think that qualifies what I said. I do. So, if I need to know someone to be able to make a sound judgment about that individual, mm, then we can't make a sound judgment about there being a God because we've never met him. That's really it. And that's really all. I think you really need to think and process things a little bit deeper than just looking at them on the surface sometimes. You have a great day.